Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Both defenses will have to be on the watch for a pair of tight ends looking to find seams in the secondary. It's the Raiders going up against the Jaguars. So let's go now to Oakland, California, where Jim and Phil are on the call. Jaguars, Raiders, the home of the silver and black. O.co Coliseum, the site for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Bill, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? Yeah, we're going to see a game that's all out. I think the coaches, they prepared all week. They devised these big game plans. And the weather's good. Now they can call any play they want on that play sheet because the elements are not going to play a factor. So it's going to be exciting. The deep returner is Taiwan Jones in his fourth year out of Eastern Washington. And Josh Scobie looks set now to kick it away. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. Taking the huddle now, veteran quarterback Matt Schaub out of the University of Virginia. First down on the way. Let's go. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Jones Drew is tackled down. The offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches. And here we have second down. Maurice Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Always a chess match early in the game to see what your opponent is going to do. Good run that time by the offense. They pick up good yards. Maybe the defense will have to start crowding the line of scrimmage more. They bring in the extra tight end. And they go back to the ground. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game. But I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Shot set Three. in the Three. pistol. Three. Three. Jones Drews lined up as the single back. Rats with the coverage and the knockdown on that play. Let's take a look at the defense now and talk a bit about defensive tackle Red Bryant out of Texas A&M. Red Bryant had a lot to do with Seattle winning the Super Bowl last year against the Denver Broncos. He's a big defensive lineman that all defenses are looking for. He is going to be a force in every game. Gives it to him again. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job that time by the defense. They get the fourth down situation here. They were bending a little bit, but they didn't give up the big play. Good job. This will take all the leg strength he can muster. No good. No good. was the 57th pick in the 2008 draft by way of the University of Michigan quarterback Chad Henney. Chad Henney out of the University of Michigan. He's still one of those big, strong, tough quarterbacks. Go. Has an outstanding arm. He can stand in there under pressure and make the throws. And that gains one. Taking a look at the offensive starters out of Mount Union, a fourth-round pick in 2011, Cecil Shorts 
There are players at every school, regardless of what level they're playing at in college. How about that? Go, Mount go. Union, Cecil Shorts, fast, tough. He can be a force in the NFL. And here's a look at the defensive line that will try to control the trenches today. Split backfield here. Here we go, here we go. 118. Chad Henney from the shotgun. Jumps up and hauls it in. Such a bigger window for the quarterbacks to throw the football now to these receivers. They can catch it no matter where you throw it that time. Looks like it's overthrown, but a nice leaping catch. First down and 10. Keeps it on the play fake. On the money. And they are in on shorts. When you talk about throwing the football into open space, that's almost always against zone defenses. That's what we saw that time. Good job of the quarterback throwing it in there. Here we go. Here we go. Right 18. Right 18. Go. Halfway through this first quarter now. Lewis got it on a pass that had some heat. Good job by the receiver that time. Getting that extra couple yards gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. First and ten. Handoff out of the eye formation. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. This will be second down. Robinson's in the slot. Here we go. Here we go. Moore's going to make the tackle. The Jaguars offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. It'll be third down. Here we go, here we go. Chad Henney from the gun. Throws the pass, and, but the hit knocks the ball out. Good timing by the defensive player that time. He gets to the receiver just as the football is getting there and makes the hit, knocks that football loose. And the kick is good for three. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. They come to the line, and it's first down. Let's go. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here, and there's only two yards to be found right there. Jones-Drew is trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Double tight end formation. Second down and eight. To the outside, Jones-Drew, and they bring it down at the 36-yard line. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. That's a gain of seven. Third and short. I don't know what you do anymore. I've given up. Do you throw it? Do you run it? Do you have that kind of faith in your offensive line? Well, the offense does. They run Let's the go. football. Great job by the offensive lineman, giving that running back a chance to get that first down. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. Jones is lined up in the slot. Schaub's going to take it from the gun. Has Jones. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. That's a really good throw and catch, and they get the first down. Jim, that's what you want to do. Pick up that first down. Now you give your offense three more opportunities. Let's Matt Schaub has it three, under center. Three, three. It's a two tight end formation. Three, three. Now first and ten. 
Gets away from the pressure. Job going down the field. Oh, and almost picked off that time. I think there's a rule you learn as a high school quarterback when you see a single high safety back there in the middle of the field. Well, you don't throw a post route into it. That time, lucky the football is just incomplete. Here's the handoff. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Last 30 seconds of quarter number one, and it's third down. Let's go! Third and nine. Makes the reception. Ozlesny's in on the tackle. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. First down following the long play. Let's go. And a gain of four. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead. It's got to give a big lift to the defense. They got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. It's good. We're through one quarter and we'll take a short break as you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the action. Today, it's been all about the defenses. The Jags are ready to return the kick. Taylor's got a chance to return this one. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. He was unable to confirm exactly what the injury was, but he did tell me that it is related to the upper body. First and 10. Here's the handoff out of the strong eye. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. Robinson's going to get set in go, the slot go. for the snap. 18, On the money. When you spy the quarterback, what it does, it just makes it easier to throw the football and complete those passes. Less people covering the receivers down the field. Third down and five. Got the completion. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. First down at the 41. They'll run it here. Max there to make the tackle. Max so strong, he can do everything on the field. He can rush the pass or beat up tackles, tight ends. How about defending this outside run that time? Stuffs it for no gain. The Jaguars snap it at the 41. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that time the quarterback didn't hold the football. The left side of the line, just they just collapsed. He doesn't even feel it or see it, and he goes down for the sack. Third and long. And he sacked again. They got to give that defensive front a lot of credit, man. They are pushing. They're getting after it. They know it's probably going to be a pass on third down. And they get back to the quarterback and take him down. The Jaguars call on the punting unit.
looking to make a difference. They'll mark him at the 28. They face first down. Jones Drews lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Handoff made, looking out wide. And it's Paul Puzlesny who makes the hit. The Raiders would love to run the ball like they have so far. Jones Drew's been a huge part of it here in the first half, Bill, the way he's been running the football. Give the coaches a lot of credit right here. They're being very patient, staying with the running game, and the running back boy is he taking advantage of every opportunity. Matt Schaub has it under center. Third and three. Throws to the right. Brings it in. It's got some daylight. Six for the Raiders. And we're talking about some of the fastest humans on Earth. And we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Raiders with the PAT to come. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Raiders will take their spot on the bench after contributing to the cause, especially via the passing game, over 60 yards by the air. He'll take it from the one. Taylor's tackled down at the 17. The Jaguars now bring their offense back onto the field for the next drive. Here we go, here we go. One and two. One and two. We'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. And he's taken down. I don't know if they were confused or not, but the left side of the offensive line that time, they were not aggressive. They got pushed back, and they give up the sack of the quarterback. Second down coming up. Here we go, here we go. One and two. One and two. Chad Hitty from the shotgun. It's Lee. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. The Jaguars lined up. Everybody split out wide. Third down and ten. at the two hands. Lewis is marked down at the 27. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed, and he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. First down and 10. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. The Jaguars snap it at the 26. And they bring him down at the 33-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. Lee's a receiver in the slot. Here we go, here we go. Screen finds his mark. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Good job by the defense. Staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass. They make the tackle. And now we have fourth down coming up. Looking for a lane on the return. Smith, the one who brings him to the ground.
It's first down as they head to the line. Let's go. Break the knee up. Three, three. Schaub standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Catch made. Reynolds, the one who made the big stop. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Jones is lined up Let's now go. as a slot Red receiver. Red three, three. Second down and 12. Catch made. They bring him to the turf. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. Jones in the slot. Brent 38. Brent 38. Third and seven. Now on the move. He's got a little bit of daylight here, trying to escape the pressure. And there he goes, sliding to get away from the hit. Nice awareness that time by the quarterback. Sometimes when you drop back, don't be too stubborn. Stand in that pocket and take a hit. If you have to run, take off. He gets it done that time and picks up a first down. First down at the 31. Looking across the middle, he's got the catch. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. First down coming up. The Raiders are up right now, Phil, and that's at least partly due to the play of their quarterback. Schaub's on fire. It's an awesome feeling as a quarterback to be in rhythm, to get people open and have time to throw the football down the field. That's why they're winning, Jim. You said it right. The quarterback is hot. The Raiders have it at the 29. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Paul Poslesny makes the tackle. Well, you get a couple first downs. It just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this. When you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. The defense comes out in the nickel. First down at the 19. Here's the quick toss. Picks up maybe three. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time, they just got a short game. Second down. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. He's looking to the right here on this throw. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and deflect the pass without getting a penalty. Good job. Moore's lined up in the slot. Third and seven. Looking to the right side and throwing. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Raiders signal for the timeout, and that's the first one they've used. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. The offense still on the field here on fourth down, needing four to stay on the field. The jumbo set on the field. Here's the handoff to Maurice Jones-Drew. How about that run? Touchdown! When you got a lead, you march down the field, and you add on to that lead with a touchdown, it's fun to watch the other team. Will they stay patient or will they panic? My bet is they'll panic. The Raiders lined up now for the point after. And the extra point is good. The Jaguars cannot come up with any answers here before halftime. And now they await the kickoff. Perhaps they can put some points on the board before the intermission. The scores, 21 to 3. Taylor's got it on the return. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Another series coming up for Henney and company. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Second down coming up. 
That does it for the first half. Jaguars trail in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Raiders are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Jaguars just want to come out after the half and claw their way back into the game. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Raiders have it at the 14. He'll jet out to the right on the run, and he'd cap off the 10-play drive with a TD. The lead grows to four. Midway through the second quarter, Streeter is found on the quick pass, and this goes 12 yards for the score. Raiders push their lead to 11. We move late into the second. Here the pass would be completed into coverage, and the play will come to an end after a gain of 30. Still a little time left on the clock. Hand off and run goes up the middle, and he cap off the long drive with a touchdown. Raiders go up by 18, so that's going to wrap up our halftime report. We'll get you back out now to O.Co. Coliseum with Jim Nance and Phil Sims are on the call. Taylor's got it. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down, offense readying for the snap. Two tight ends on the field here. Here we go. And now here's the first snap of the second half. Picks up eight here. Boy, there's nothing like a draw play. It just catches the defense by surprise, and running backs, they love it because they know they have a chance to get some easy yards. Here we go, here we go. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. Play action fake, looking to throw. They're gonna get him here for a sack. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB go, and takes him go. down. Third and 10. And it's gonna be dropped with a sack, and they're gonna be punting after a short series. Well, the defense has gotta be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. Wants to give it a go here. Game 16. First down here. Split backfield here. Let's go. Red 38. Red 38. Maurice Jones Drew. He's going to be tackled right around the 42 yard line. Watching the ball fly deep down the field has been something we've grown accustomed to seeing today, Phil. And it's led to a bunch of big plays and touchdowns. It's so exciting to see the football throw deep down the field and a guy catches it and runs for a touchdown. It's like going to a baseball game and seeing a home run. You're watching something special, and Jim, we have seen that here in this game today. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Nickel formation for the defense here. Matt Schaub from the shotgun. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can't be picked off. Most of the time, they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. Schaub will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Third and four will go ground. This time, they fail to pick up the first on third down. A rare occurrence here today. Schaub is going to be in the pistol here. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And man, this guy is taking advantage of those opportunities. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. 
fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition, Let's go. but a good job that time Three. getting it. The Raiders from the 32. And now he'll take off. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in Let's the go. second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. And that's a gain of nine. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. Coming up, second down. Let's go. Scrambling now. Got the completion. That's a gain of eight. when it comes to the passing game. Formations, movement, do whatever it takes to give your players an advantage. That time they get a nice play call, they throw the pass and complete it for a good solid Let's pickup. Go. Nickel Let's formation go. here for the defense. And now on first down, they'll go back to the air. He's got the catch. And pick up about four. They're just grinding away down here, inching closer to the end zone. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. It's hard always to think that you're going to come out and just make big plays. You got to do the dirty work, and this offense is doing it right now. Second down coming up. Let's go. Break the lead. Time the offense is near the goal line, you've got to be alert for the quarterback moving and trying to run with the football. Nobody on the defense is watching the quarterback, and he just scrambles in easily for the touchdown. And the point after is good. The Jaguars return team has been on the field way too often today as they are getting blown out. The scores 28 to 3. He'll take it from the one. And he's met head on right there at the 20. The Jaguars offense now marches onto the field. Quarterback coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Then picks up about three. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Raiders official. Matt Schaub's injury will not prevent him from returning to this game, guys. Go, They're saying go. he's cleared to head back in as soon as he feels comfortable. Back to you. Lee's got the catch and the first. All you can do is your job, and that was a good job by the offense, picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score go, right now. One Just eight, find eight, ways to eight, execute eight, plays eight, eight, and get down there and score a touchdown. Looking to the right side and throwing. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. He's setting up here. He's been sacked go, five times today. Right, really go. been beat up. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. It's Lee. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, go, and then you play the game from there. First and ten. Hand off. And at the 37, he'll be brought down. Second down following the run. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Here we go. Right 18. Right 18. 
Chad Henney from the gun. Complete to Lewis. The tackle was made. Well, that's a nice completion by the offense. And what it does, it just puts them in a more manageable situation so they can pick up that third down. Wide receivers are bunched up. Here we go, here we go. Right and the Jaguars from the 32. The defense gets a sack. Well, sometimes as a quarterback, if you could read the blitz that is coming, you have to keep the running backs in there to pick up some of those blitzers. They don't do it that time. They get outnumbered, and the quarterback takes a sack. He'll try this one from 51. kick and it's through there the kick is good well when you get points it's never a bad thing that is for sure good job by the field goal kicker that time nice job by the offense moving the football down the field Murray's gonna run this one out and it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20 First down here. Offense lines up here. To the ground. He's tackled at the 30. The running game has been going in opposite directions for these teams today, Phil, but it's still a tight game. Yeah, Jim, simple on the offensive side. Do whatever you have to do to make it work. If you're running it well, stay with it. On the other side, you got to find ways to deceive the defense. Change up. If you do that, your chances of success, they go way up. The Raiders will take the snap from the 30. Pulls it in. Tackle down at the 47. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. First down here after the completion. Let's go. They'll go ground. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The Raiders have really been able to run the ball today. It's been a huge reason why they lead. Jones Drews dominated on the ground. There is nothing like dominating a football game physically. They have overwhelmed the defense and a good job by the offensive coordinator managing this game today. One quarter to go, and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back, and this game has not been close. And now they'll try over again on second down. The defense comes out in the nickel. Let's go. Here is the first snap of the final quarter. Got the first, and he's got some space. That's a gain of 10. Anytime you see a defense that can't stop the runs right up the middle, there's a couple things. The middle linebacker's probably not doing his job, and you might not just have enough meat up inside to hold up against those big offensive linemen. Let's go. First down at the 36. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. Always good to have these types of runs. Hey, it's not a first down. But it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Second down and five. They call his name again. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Let's Matt Schaub has three, it under center. Three, the Raiders will take the snap from the 30. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, I don't know who made the mistake that time, the quarterback or the running backs. They go out on the pass. The blitz comes by the defense. Not enough blockers on the offensive side. And the defense wins out. And they take the QB down.
This is a long field goal about to be attempted. An empty possession for the offense. Jim, I can't get on the kicker this time. That was a long field goal try. And when you send the guy out there to kick one that long, you got a 50-50 chance. That time they lost. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The Jaguars come to the line here we go, here we with go. a bunch Four, set. And so that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. <laughs> Second down now. Offense lines up here. Here we go, here we go. Right Chad Henney from the shotgun. The defense gets the sack. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard, and they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. Jaguars have it at the 39. And he's going to be sacked. So, just three plays and outs for the offense. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitz is coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but try to protect yourself because you're going down. The Jaguars call on the punting unit. This punt will be returned. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. The Raiders offense ready now to see what it can do. Offense lines up here. Let's go. The Raiders snap it up at the 26. And grabs they had the interception. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they Let's want go. you to make the catch. Second and 10. Maurice Jones-Drew gets it here. They'll mark him at the 29. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Third down now. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Very nearly intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Blackman's not going to test the coverage here as he makes the fair catch. Another series coming up for Henney and company. Lewis usually a tight end, but he's in the backfield this time. They send the tight end in motion. Chad Henney from the gun. Throws to the right. Shorts got it. First down. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets a first down. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 31. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Second down here. Lee's going to get set go, in the slot go. for this snap. Ball's loose. The defense has the football. Tackles made. 
Well, that time the offense fumbles the football, but the defense hit them so hard, uh, there's no chance of hanging on. Hits the ground and the defense recovers. Great starting field position for the offense. Let's go. Grant 38. Grant 38. The Raiders take it from the 28. Jones Drew is tackled down. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. That leads us to second down. The give and a run right up the middle. Reynolds there to take it down. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down here after the run. Jones Drew lined up in the backfield. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Looking to the right side and throwing. Could have been intercepted. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. And Holmes is a receiver in the slot. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Third down and 10. He'll throw it over the middle. And Gratz nearly had the interception. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But... They drop the pass. He'll try this one from 35. And converts on the three. Well, the defense is going to be excited. They come out there. The offense has great field position, but they stop them. But they give up three points, but still a victory for the defense. The Jaguars are back deep, ready to return the kickoff. They're setting up the return. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Jaguars come onto the field now for this next series. First down at the 20. They're setting up screen, and he hauls it in. Taking off. He is brought down at the 49-yard line. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. We'll head back to the field now. Danielle Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. Yeah, it looks like an upper body injury. You could tell he was favoring it as he came off the field. And once we know more, of course, we'll tell everybody out there what went on. Tight ends in motion here. Now first and ten. Reaches out and grabs it. Brought down after a gain of six. Two minutes to go in the second half. It's now second down. Offense lines up here. Throwing now to his left. Has his target. And he's brought to the ground. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Holding on to the timeout. The rush back to the line. Justin Tuck has a sack. And here we have second down. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Breaks 
three. And they knock the quarterback to the ground. Third down on the way. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Play fake. No one was open. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Puts it through the uprights. Needed plenty of leg on that one. When an offense drives the ball, they always want to get something out of it, get some points. This time, the field goal kicker gets it done. He gives them three. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. down on the way empty backfield look for Bortles here Bortles gonna take the snap from the shotgun sticks to his hands and that gets the first down the offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion they'll go hurry up now won't use a timeout and he's forced to the ground after getting sacked, it's now second and 18. They'll go to the hurry up here as the clock runs. The defense gets another sack. The Jaguars are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Robinson's lined up now as a slot receiver. The Jaguars take it from the 43. Launches it down the field, and it's incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Jaguars call on the punting unit. He's got a chance to return this one. They come to the line, and it's first down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Takes the knee. All right, Phil, before we go, tell me about the atmosphere down in that winning locker room right now. Oh, it's always a wonderful feeling once you win the football game. Just think about it, Jim. It's, it's, it would be like you playing a round of golf, and you know it's just you against one other guy, and you practice all week long. The anticipation builds. You're so excited for the match, and once you get it done, man, it, 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 it's a wonderful time. memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.